Welcome back to Blender Shishila Noding. In this episode, we're gonna learn how to create a simple propagation effect. So basically, uh, we're gonna pick like an index of face, and then from that, we just let the effects kind of propagate and delete every other face. So at first, originally, uh, when I tried to do this myself, uh, what I what I use is uh, sample nearest so that's kind of my my first uh, solutions but I got help from Erindale and Hixas apparently we can actually use a uh, blur blur as well and it's a lot faster so blur attributes in blender 4 4.0 uh, we actually have repeat node as well so we can use this blur with repeat and then the effects is actually a lot faster and more streamlined kind of more efficient I let me show you okay first of all this is a, a cube we don't need this distribute and point to volume but just that's just for additional effects we can start with something simple like this and we are using repeat node, of course, but at first we need to pick up uh, some kind of points. So what I, what I did here inside the node group, I actually sampled the nearest face with the original sample positions. The sample position is, you know, in this case, it's from, from this point. So I pick like a like a vector position, and then this node over here will sample that position and get the nearest face, and then we use this. Uh, we compare this. We compare this uh, face with index face of the face, and then you know we get a logic that we can use to delete geometry. And then so we can perform deletion so this kind of it's kind of interesting in it i actually okay in this case i actually have two we can pick two different points and then we perform it but it's not very efficient if you might notice okay blender also crashes there's a better way which is actually using the blur blur node so this is the the second example let me ah, index equal so using index equal it's gonna be a lot faster in this case we can we have Suzanne with the two skin so we have it's gonna refill the inside but if you use just a simple cube you can see the effects so this is simpler uh, we don't use sample nearest we simply use uh, the blur node uh, let's let's simplify all of this we're gonna pick up a single value index and the blur nodes gonna handle the rest so it's gonna propagate automatically so at first we pick up a face some kind of index any of the index number inside the node group we compare that index and whether it's e we com we compare the whole index of the of the objects and then um, with the logic we get a result and then we use we use it with blur attributes and then we just simply iterate on that one and then we simply delete the geometry in this case you can also extrude etc but yeah simply by using that we actually have it propagating So in this case, yeah, I start with just a simple cube, subdivide it, distribute points on faces, and point to volume, volume to mass. So we have this kind of 
imperfect looking cube and then we just simply propagate the deletions so I think that's kind of interesting we and I actually tried if we actually could have multiple comparison like I mean if we what happened if we pick two index and just let it propagate so apparently in this case the effects gonna be slightly different I have a feeling uh, this index need to be outside actually so I wonder if it's gonna work because first we are we got we are deleting the cube and then we we have a different uh, yeah in this case it doesn't seem to be running in parallel so better way not doing it this way kind of kind of wondering you know if if we can we can use like or um, that's math logic compare if integer is this number and actually use like a math expression oops you know boolean boolean math If index this and this, can you iterate? In this case, I think it doesn't seem to work because it's only expecting a single value in this case. So maybe that, uh, that's for the next video yes at the moment we can only have a single value index and we compare it with the rest of the index value and then we simply blur and delete a face anyway this should be clear it's sim it's really really simple however it uh, takes a bit of understanding <laughs> Individual selection. So we are we are what we are doing here, simply using selection <coughs> and then blur the results. So in the past we actually can use this using uh, dynamic paint in Blender. So it's that's Blender two point five x or something. So here anyway. The effects really fast. It's only with this setup we only have uh, a single face to select, but there must be. Uh, if we just make adjustment to the to the node tree, I'm pretty sure we can actually use multiple face index, and then we simply blur the attribute. So it's blurring the blurring the boolean, which is uh, kind of interesting. It's, then the value will spread and influence the rest. We get the propagations effects automatically. Uh, automatically. So thanks to the repeat node, actually thanks to the blur node. In this case, the blur node and the iterations is happening inside the blur node. So that's why it's really, really fast. So maybe we can do the, we can do the, uh, the comparison outside of iterations I think that will actually work so I'll just let you figure it out if we compare the index and the boolean we're gonna get a certain value and it's gonna, we can simply blur it all right so hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye